Guy Harvey, artist, scientist, angler, diver, conservationist, and family man. Journey with Guy to the world's greatest fishing waters, where every fish, every fight is a window on another world. Where every catch is a portrait from the deep, waiting to be painted. Go exploring with Guy in the last wild country under the waves. My lifelong friend, Charlie Foreman, takes my place as angler on this gig. The coast of Ghana forms part of the Gulf of Guinea in the eastern Atlantic, a very productive part of the ocean. John has brought along some PSATs to try and learn more about these big fish, where they roam, do they make transatlantic migrations, etc. He does not have long to wait. Left teaser, big fish, get the big bait. That's it, all right. Get over there in the clean water. Move to your left, John. Get in there right behind that teaser. Perfect. There it is, free spool, free spool. There he is, go, drop your rod tip. Put it in gear, put it in gear. Reel, 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 get it back up on the surface. Whoa, whoa, so easy. Okay, free spool. There he is. Free spool. There we go. John is now tight on the biggest blue he has ever seen, a magnificent fish of more than 700 pounds. Here he comes, real, 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 real. He's doing that okay. He's coming right at you. Put the rock down low. Bend your knees. There you go. This is what it's all about. After all the jumps, the big fish has got wrapped in the leader, so the pressure of the drag is pulling from the tail instead of the mouth, and will eventually bring the fish to a halt. If it was not tail wrapped, the constant pressure would turn its head toward the boat, and the water would still be flowing over its gills. In this situation, the crew act rapidly, clearing the leader off the tail, and get the marlin swimming forward. This process pushes water over the gills and quickly revives the fish. A word of advice, never give up doing this. Blue marlin are very tough animals and respond well to resuscitation. Dr. John instructs cameraman Ricky Westphal to lend a hand in reviving and releasing the big marlin. Oh yeah. For best results, keep the fish upright in the water, hold the dorsal fin, and if available, use a snooter on the bill, which helps holding the head down. Look for color changes and increased body movements before releasing the marlin. The crew's diligence paid off as this big blue not only survived, but made tracks to the east where the bigger concentrations of tuna are found. <laughs> 